as you see in thumbnail that I'm going to show you how to configure the BGP routing protocol using Python language and I will show you how to automate your BGP neighborship establishment. My intention of this video is to uh, make you understand the complex thing in easier way and uh, break the uh, fear of uh, scripting language if you have by uh, showing how easy it is right so without wasting uh, more time let's get started so here you can already uh, see that uh, there is uh, one simple very simple diagram uh, wherein uh, there is two router right a router two uh, in right hand side and router one is the left hand side right and now uh, in router one uh, in the interface uh, one slash zero there is IP address 10.10.10.100 10 10 10 and the right hand side IP address is the 10.10.10.200 10 10 right it's very simple diagram and uh, you can ignore uh, this connectivity it's a management connectivity right through uh, through this uh, connection I will uh, manage this or I will uh, push this uh, configuration over here uh, so I will explain each and every uh, command or a script I'm going to use over here right so before uh, jumping uh, to that, uh, let me show you uh, what are the router uh, configuration over here. Let me uh, log in on the router. Yeah, uh, here this is the left hand side router, router 1. Let me show you what is the configuration over here. There is only one IP address configure uh, that is also in management uh, interface. Um, there is uh, no bgp configuration right yeah so there is nothing configuration over here you can see right only only accessible uh, configuration so that i can access uh, from uh, the uh, server right let me exit from here let me uh, show you uh, uh, this router as well because i want to start from scratch right so IP and brief there is no IP address so run section BGP so there is no uh, configuration at all let me show you the entire configuration so only on simple configuration to access this device only right so let me exit from here hope you understand this simple uh, very simple topology here are two different AS number you can see right now let me take you through the uh, scripting right what i have already uh, prepared to save the time right here it is <coughs> excuse me so i will uh, before uh, before uh, run this uh, script or this before run this uh, language i will i will show you or i will explain each and every part so that it can uh, easier for you understand right and um, your fear will break definitely how how simple it is let me show you so uh, what i did here uh, let me explain one by one first i have imported the paramico the paramico is uh, uh, right uh, you it is one library of python language right that i have imported over here which will help us to uh, enable the ssh and enable in the sense uh, to uh, make this uh, python as a client to access the uh, your router as a server right so this this parameter will help you to uh, do that and apart from that i have import the time right uh, the time library also it's a kind of library to manage the time kind of thing and what i have imported over here that i'll also explain then first what i did uh, i have uh, done some variable right i have make a few variable that is host name and i have put the one uh, string right and that string is the ip addresses only um, another variable is the username where I have uh, put the username and uh, password as well because this username and password already configured because uh, as I told you the basic configuration I added over there to access the device right and few comment I have already uh, inserted over here so that you can understand right so another another uh, variable uh, I have uh, configured over here that is the config command the variable name where i run the list right so what is list what is data type what is uh, 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 variable all these stuffs i have explained in separate video it might reflect in the i button you can check from out uh, from there right you can check out that video also so that you can understand the well python language 
right the basic stuff now uh, what i did uh, i have explained and uh, i have configured the one variable where i have put the ip addresses right and the admin username and the password right so that i can call this stuff later on and second thing is that another uh, configurations i have uh, configured it's a very simple way i have configured it out right one by one by uh, list right uh, one of the data type is list and that what i did i have uh, enable uh, i have uh, go to uh, configure terminal as you do in the cli also wherein i have uh, configure first host name so that we can uh, ch check the ch changes right otherwise it is difficult to understand uh, why viewing uh, top view right then what we did uh, the host name we have configured as we do uh, in do in, uh, uh, in in configuration mode right then i uh, insert in the uh, interface then i have configured the ip addresses then uh, no sort right then this is the section where i have configured the bgp right as it is required so uh, bgp router bgp there is number i have show you in the diagram right hope you have uh, observed that part also and uh, uh, apart from the uh, uh, as number i have configured the bgp neighbor which is the uh, his uh, uh, connected neighbor and his uh, as number is 200 right that i have very simple configuration basic configuration so that you can understand one by one right so why i did uh, like this way so that you can understand each configuration line right there is other way out also right so it could be difficult for you to understand that's what i, I make this thing in easier way right now uh, next part you have to understand uh, these are the two part now next very important part is that why i imported the uh, paramico I, I took the help of the paramico uh, library so here uh, param what the paramico uh, did it's it's act uh, as a ssh client so here he has configured as a ssh client through which we can access the device right so in in, in real world and uh, in real configuration world what you people do network engineers that they do uh, take help of the one of the client it could be uh, putty it could be other ssh uh, secure crt kind of uh, client right so that he can help uh, he can act as a uh, ssh client from there you can access the device right the same thing is also over here the net uh, the paramico uh, the library help us to uh, make this uh, script uh, python script as a ssh uh, client you can say you can understand right away uh, like this way and uh, there is another line you can see that is uh, what is this this is uh, this line may enable the SSH client and this line enable the uh, uh, the key policy. Now, what is the key policy? In key policy, as you know, uh, for the SSH communication, there was one client, one server, they communicate each other, right? Now, uh, during this communication, one uh, client received the uh, server uh, public key, right? And this is how they exchange each other. And they store the public key to authenticate the server. So that part help uh, here over here this uh, line or this command uh, over here right and the second line is you can see the SSH connect here we are uh, connecting the devices right uh, just just minutely uh, observe over here here again I have called the host name right again the username whatever I have configured over here upper one right let me show you again the host name here I have called if you uh, move, around, move around your uh, mouse over here it will show you the host name I have uh, configured over here as a variable as a string and that I am going to call over here if I uh, move around my, my mouse it will show you the IP address right and the username what is the username I have already configured uh, under the username variable that is showing over here also so I am calling this uh, all this uh, variable yeah host name username password so that this ssh client can connect right here is the connection right here is the i have used this uh, command to connect this ssh uh, uh, device uh, with this uh, destination server ip it's uh, your router where i'm going to connect using the username and password which is configured under this variable i uh, using the string admin admin right so it is uh, connected that is uh, very well uh, now as of now it is connected now another part is that <coughs> let me show you 
time slip as I uh, show you over here the time uh, import the time right why I have import that let me explain over here also oh, just a minute yeah so uh, here you can uh, uh, see there is one loop I, I, I uh, configure that is the for loop right what this for loop is doing uh, it is helping this line is help to insert or to send this configuration the entire configuration it will send to your router right that will help this uh, loop and time to sleep this 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 uh, this script will help you to uh, uh, put one command by taking one second time interval then put another command and here you can see I uh, use the uh, comma over here after, after each line so that uh, this line can be configured one by one right yeah so hope uh, uh, it is it is uh, clear to you as of now right from the beginning now what I did another configuration same configuration I did there is another way out to to make that both the router in a single script but uh, before before doing that uh, let me let me show you easier way that's what I have configured uh, two separate uh, router configuration with the same script right so that it would be easier for you all right now uh, let me show you another part that uh, once this command uh, going to run it will automatically uh, configure and get it right so what is the command over here I have also already put so this command keep in mind but focus this part it would be good for you this configuration I have configured now who will send this guy this loop will send here I am calling config commands right and who will help me to uh, connect the SSH this parameter uh, library right this will help you to connect we will take care the, uh, uh, the the key policy this guy the parameter library will help us uh, by using this command right so this is how it is it's very simple and easier way to understand so if you have any doubt uh, let me uh, know by uh, putting your comment sections yeah putting your comment uh, query in comment section so I am going to run this command before that let me do one thing uh, let me log in to both the router right just give me a few seconds more I want to wrap up uh, very quickly this video because just a minute please yeah so here uh, left hand side you can see your uh, router one let me go there as i am configuring the bgp to 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 uh, check the successful of bgp i have to uh, before doing that i have to run the debug command right so the, it's it's not required but keep in mind why i'm putting this debug because I, I can see and I can show you how it is working right uh, that's what I'm putting without putting this command also you can configure very easily it is not needed to show you and to uh, to, to watch this entire thing I have uh, enabled this alright so all right so let me uh, run this command let me go to the pycharm where is the all script is uh, configured and before uh, running you keep in mind that this uh, current configuration should be selected over here there there could be multiple files right uh, let me run yeah so let me go there right so if, if it is showing uh, value 0 then it's been successfully uh, uh, configured right so uh, it's something is uh, popping up that's what the configuration already uh, pushed over there right let me check yeah so here you can see both the router is configured so here easily you can uh, test with this process finished with exit code 0 it's mean the entire command has been configured now why I have run the debug command so that you can see what is happening automatically right first 
यू कैन सी द ग्लोबल एडजेंसी नेबर इज आप द बी जी पी कॉन्फिगरेशन डन बी जी पी कॉन्फिगरेशन कॉम्प्लीटेड द आई पी आर डेज कॉन्फिगर्ड सक्सेसफुली एवरी थिंग इज डन नथिंग आई डिड राइट एज यू कैन सी सो टू चेक दिस लेट मी शो यू हियर यू कैन चेक द होस्ट नेम इज ऑल्सो चेंज सो हाउ द होस्ट नेम हैज़ बीन चेंज लेट मी शो यू अगेन वे हियर हियर राइट सो वाट आई सेट होस्ट नेम आर टी आर वन राइट राइट सो फास्ट सक्सेसफुल indication is the host name i would say so uh, my intention is to establish automatically uh, this uh, bgp neighborship by using the python command let me run that command whether this uh, bgp successfully successfully uh, uh, successfully establish the bgp uh, uh, neighborship or not right hope you can understand so you can see the bgp neighborship successfully established right by uh, by any all network engineer can understand very easily right here is the successful establishment uh, message through this we can understand the bgp successfully established right so apart from that what the configuration this guy did let me show you okay so what he did uh, there was no configuration right you can reverse this uh, video you can check there was no configuration in this interface this uh, python script has configured automatically right then rest what he has done he has configured the bgp as well where he is saying the b remote as is 200 right here also you can see run all right all right here is also bgp configuration successfully completed so our intention is to configure uh, the bgp uh, with neighborship establishment that is successfully done you can see this is how you can easily use python script to automate your configuration now you can uh, think that uh, what big deal i can configure this much line by using this uh, uh, cli mode right but thing is that whenever the multiple router would be there you have to ask your manager will ask you multiple task to take backup to uh, uh, run this uh, pbr all these stuffs then it will be difficult for you right this is the very basic stuff uh, you can use other way also there is multiple way uh, here i can see uh, i have configured the username and password right uh you might do one thing you might uh, take the leverage of the import uh, 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 import configurations or import command so that uh, it will ask you for the username and password right because this script can run anybody uh, you are not uh, you are not uh, uh, i would say you are not that much confident to share your username in that case you can uh, write over here import so that once you run this command it will ask for the username and password yeah this is very simple way uh, i would uh, say i have uh, show you how to configure the router uh, with the example of bgp routing protocol very easy way we use the python language uh, if you feel uh, informative please share others also and hope your uh, uh, you feel it's easy every anyone can do it right and uh, keep in touch uh, with subsequent automation uh, tutorial video so that you can understand in easy way the automation okay so thank you thanks for your time over here bye